What's up folks? Okay, you're back with me. Okay, so basically what I did here now was I took the second part of this video, which is me actually um, doing a little rap to the ver like a rap to the beat that I made, which is the part one of this video, which is just um, I'm putting the final touches on and I have it in YouTube on my computer right now, right? So you can kind of see that. Yeah, it's just it's uploading into YouTube so you can kind of see that. So the next phase is now I'm keeping the video it's private right now so it's it's under private settings so what I'll do is I can review it in on my TV see what happens so in this second part of this video right now see this is where I actually rap rap to the beat that's up there right which I don't know if you guys can see so there's the beat the black stuff there is the beat you see that kind of do right so so this is a good way that people can go through their video when they're at home or something like that and they get tired of sitting in front of the front of the computer shut up I won't stop talking man so this is a good way for people to look and see what they're doing while you know while they're just laying in bed before they go to sleep or whatever they can review their videos at night upload it as private and then you can review it right so and then you got the whole TV to look and see and then you can say okay I screwed up here screwed up there so now, now by me revert reviewing the first part of this video because I just did a quick review of the first part while I was um, in Adobe uh, rush just doing editing on it but I didn't really edit it that well because it keeps freezing and stuff like that and it's it's not the best well I'm still learning that program too right so I pretty much just I fired behind it a 60 frames per second um, actual cam footage that I took from this Canon EOS 50 cam and then I took it the webcam footage as well so you see see my mug my mug there on the uh, television there that's the webcam footage and then I put the the other um, camera that's actually kind of facing the computer to kind of show you guys a bit of how this demo goes. Regardless to say, it um, yeah, it, it clutters it up, right? So I'm just gonna be running the one camera at a time from now on because I don't want to have all that cluttering in the whole video because people aren't gonna be able to see what's going on. So essentially, the two things that you're gonna need is Studio One. So you're gonna want to go go to the Splice. Um, the Splice website, and I'll leave a link. This is really easy stuff, right? Go to Splice, download Studio One version four, which is, it, it'll it'll bring you through it, right? So you get, a, I think it's a three day trial, and then you get it on a rent to own plan, or you can pay for it. I think the program's only like 200 bucks now or something like that, right? So it's, it's not that bad. And then you're gonna wanna go get, um, and then you're gonna wanna download output from Arcade, right? So that way you can make this whole, this whole beat that I made happen, right? And it, like I said, it was just like, one key press one key line up your three arcades press the one key and they all play bounce out your me melody and then you just play around with it and stuff like that and what it kind of inspired me to make this video was because i you i used to watch a guy his name was mg the future and i'll link some of his stuff below and like the, the guy he's an older guy he's like 40 50 years old but he's he knows what he's he knows what he's doing but it's like he was infamous for just like, he just let the camera roll for like three hours and just, just play around it in the doll. And I just watched those videos and just pick up his little tricks, right? Just, even though he rolled the camera three up for three hours talking to himself about, you know, just pretty much getting mad at his computer, <laughs> but I picked it up, right? It was just entertaining because he was just, but it was, it was a way to learn, right? So if you see somebody that's good at something that's been doing it for years and years and years and years and years, Eventually, you'll you'll pick up on some of the things he was doing. So I just watched this guy play around, like you know, uh, for hours in his thing, and he'd try to semi-explain things, and then I'd go back into YouTube, and then I'd have my Studio One open while he had his Studio One open in the YouTube windows, and I'd go click the buttons, you know, same as him, line things up the same way that he did, play around with it, play around with it, and you got to be playing around with it, right? Because it's hands-on learning, right? So play around with it, play around with it, and then. Like with this, right? So, how I came up, how I so even like this, okay, so that's just me rapping, right? And then the next, the next stage of the game here, hold on a second. Okay, it might not show up, but yeah, it's not gonna show up. But okay, so the next thing that I did after this even was, I went into one of my YouTube videos that I pre previously did, and I took a screenshot of just me just saying some random stuff, right? I screenshotted that from the actual YouTube video that I already uploaded. And then I bounced that into 
into um the fuck is it called now adobe um not stock i don't know i'm gonna have to cut this part out um not rush what is it called? adobe spark adobe spark and so i just just to make a quick a quick little cover for this thing right so i just put that pardon me into adobe spark which i'll link below to hopefully if i remember to do all these things right so i put that cover into adobe spark so while i was waiting for my um <clears throat> while i was waiting for all my mastering because i mastered one of them in cloud bounce one of them in ozo 9 this tutorial's got so many things going on with it right now so <clears throat> um yeah Okay, I think I know what I'm talking about now. So yeah, basically, while I was waiting for things to get mastered and playing around and waiting for it to go through all its processes, which was very, very strenuous on my computer, which is another reason some of the videos kind of lagged. Um, yeah, I made a little cover and I made a little thumbnail for a YouTube thumbnail in Adobe Spark. So that was just kind of multitasking while I waited for those to do that, this to do, and yeah, sort of like that. It's getting confusing. And then the next thing that I did now with this now is I'm uploading the version, the first part of this video where I just take you into, into Arcade, line up the first three things, and then just start the beat up. And I think I leave it off right when I'm starting to mix the beat and actually put the mastering effects on the beat before I bounce it out, master the beat, pull it back into the DAW. At this point, we're back into the DAW, and I've already wrapped some stuff there's so the second one's the bottom because i like to already have my beats pre-mixed like i'll i'll sometimes i'll leave it um what's it called there i'll leave it in stems the odd time but it's just by the time it gets mixed and mastered and you just jam it up to commercial levels there is no point mixing anything in stems because it all just gets like i was saying so there's no point mixing anything anything in stems because once you mix the actual vocal with the stems say you got four stems and then you mix the vocal inside of there and stuff like that and you slam it through a limiter and compressors and get you know equalize it to get bump it up to that commercial level that you want to send it off to the um, st streaming services and platforms on it's just going to be completely leveled out like it's just going to be squashed most of the time it's going to be completely squashed and if it isn't squashed and you still allow room between that um I forget what they call it but anyways you want to leave i'll get into details later but once you um send it off to the streaming companies and stuff like that and if if it's not completely slammed up to the maximum levels that you can send it off to them at um then it's not going to compete with these other records and the, the way that most people i think ingest their music nowadays is going to be over there through their cell phone or in earbuds or in in a vehicle right so you're gonna want them to be able to just touch that volume knob and for it to start thumping out pretty good, right? And there's lots of different ways and techniques and stuff like that that you can kind of use to make that happen. So without um, me yakking on and on and on, I'll let you guys go into that video, which is gonna be linked into this video. And hopefully I'll be able to give you guys a detailed map in the write up description. Okay, guys, thanks so much, and we will see you guys soon.